All right, this is how to create assignments in Google Classroom. So I am here in my classroom in this Classwork tab, and I'm going to create, using this button, an assignment. So an assignment is something on Google Classroom that students will turn into you. So it can look any way you want to. It could be an essay. It could be a couple questions you want students to answer. It could be a video upload. Anything that you want to collect from students is an assignment. So we're just going to label it practice assignment number one. I'm going to type any instructions I have down here for students. And then down here, this button is really cool. I can either add anything from my Google Drive, a PDF, a Google document, Google Slides, anything I want my students to look at. So let's pick something here. Perfect. I'm going to upload a video that I made about organizing Google Classroom. So if I want to show my students that, I'm going to upload that video and students can view that file. I can also add a link to anything I want to. So I might attach a YouTube video link or a link to a website for students to look at. Anything that I want students to see elsewhere on the web, I'm going to attach a link there. So let's have them go to our academic calendar for next year. I'm going to attach that link. And if students click that, it opens right to our student calendar, our school calendar for next year. I can have students or I can have students look at a file, which is something from my Google Drive. So I can upload something if I want to. Or if I'm not on a Chromebook, I might have a Word document I want students to look at. And then finally, I can add a YouTube video. So I can search YouTube right here if I want them to look at Google best practices. Let's see what YouTube videos come up. Oh, awesome. I'm going to use this one, advanced tips and tricks. So I can attach all these things to the same assignment as resources for students. Students can upload things. They can attach what they need to. It might be a Google document. It might be a video. It can, they can attach or showcase their learning in lots of different ways. But I can also watch students work on their assignments if I create something for them. So if I want students to write something out in Google Documents, I'm going to create one. And I might label it as a template, just a practice. So here I might type instructions, tips, tricks, anything I want to will stay on this document. And then if I'm back in Google Classroom, I can have students access this in a couple ways. If I just want them to look at it as a resource, I'm going to leave it as students can view file. If I want all of my students to edit the same Google document, if I want people typing and collaborating and leaving comments, I'm going to have students can edit file. So that gives all students access to edit that document. Or I can make a copy for each student. So that means this will be assigned, this document will be assigned to students and students can edit that document for themselves. So this creates a copy and each student has access to edit. So if I want students to respond to my instructions individually, this is the one I want to use. So I can type any instructions that I need to. I have all of these cool resources attached that students can look at and use. I'm going to make sure that I have it assigned to a classroom. And if I want, I can assign it to more than one classroom at a time. I can even assign it to specific students in my classroom. Um, so I can pick and choose who gets to view this assignment. I can change the point value. So it might be ungraded, or let's make this one out of 10 points. I can assign a due date and even a time. So let's say I want it due the end of the second week of school, and I want it due by midnight. And then I can assign it a topic. So let's say we want it week two, and there we go. I'm going to assign, and it will pop up in my Google Classroom under week two for students to view and start working on. And that is how to create assignments in Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.